Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Retro Tech. And today I've got a brand new episode of CRT Market Watch. And this is going to be officially the first episode of 2020. And I've done things a little bit differently for this month's look at CRT sales. Now, I did find well over 150 CRT sales that actually were listed as processed or sold through eBay in my research. And I thought maybe this time I'd look at things a little bit differently and highlight maybe 10 of the top sales, most expensive sales that actually were listed as sold in the month of January. I wanted to look at a lot of those, uh, maybe point out some similarities in some of them and kind of talk about at the end, uh, kind of talk a little bit more about this one particular seller who sold uh, a lot of high-end monitors this month and sells probably the most amount of money's worth of high-end monitors every month. So first, this is our first listing, and it's actually one of the more recent listings. Uh, this is a Sony PVM 20L5 and with the Mario Party 7 screenshot, $1,800 free shipping or best offer. So there's that one, and then there was another one a couple days before that. I thought this was kind of interesting. A 20M4U sold for almost $1,200 shipped, according to this. Now, there could have been a best offer made on some of these, so just keep that in mind. Uh, it doesn't tell me whether none of these said that best offer was accepted or anything like that. They just said sold, and then... On the 21st, I wanted to point out some of these. Now, these are not quite at the $1,000 level, but this is a 14L5 that sold for $850, uh, or at least it listed as being sold for $850 this month. There was also a 3230 that was listed as sold for almost, goodness, $2,700 for that very large pro video monitor. And uh, we have a 14L5 that did come with a case and a HDSDI card. And this one was actually bid on, and it got all the way up to $900 on it. So a lot of these monitors were sold. Here's another 20L5. I don't think this one was in very good shape, but it was sold for about $1,100 this month. And then we have... A Sony BVM D series. This is a D series 20 F1U, the 20 inch D series, sold for $2,350. Shipped. Now, it could, it could have been best offer, but most likely pretty close to that. This was an interesting one I saw. I don't know whether this one was probably um, a really good condition. It says open box, so it could have still been an original box. A 20 M2 MDU had a one bid uh, sale of 1150 and that was with free shipping. Again, this is all in US dollars and these were taking place within the US most likely. This was an interesting one. This was back right at the end of the year, a PVM 2530 with the original speakers. And again, this one was best offered probably, but it was originally listed my goodness gracious, almost $3,700. And then this is another one that was $1,200. But I actually know that this one was fully refurbished by Save on Pat. And it came with every card, fully tested, calibrated, and looked really beautiful. And I know the guy who bought it is extremely happy with it. So this was uh, one of the better sales I know that occurred last month. So if we look at some of these sales in more depth, I wanted to look at uh, I'd show you a couple of these because out of, whew, goodness gracious, some of the top sales from this last month, uh, I found six monitors that were sold by one seller, and they were the top of the top. Most of them you might have just seen the listings for, but the total sales value on them was over $15,000. And uh, I started to look into things, and I realized, hey, this is a seller that we've talked about before in the past. And, um, but now this seller is known as Big House. So uh, here is first off, this is a current listing for this 20L5, which again was one of the monitors I talked about initially as being sold 
right at the beginning uh, or just five days ago from today. This is the 31st when I'm recording this. So here it is here. And then um, this is um, the same picture being used here. So uh, the, the listing is active here and I kept looking more. So I went back and looked at some of these completed sales. This first one was from weeks ago and um, you can't see the serial number because he's got it flashed out on the listing, but it's October of 2003 and it's just, um, it's, so then I went and looked at another listing, same thing, same pictures being used and you guys can go on there and look for sold PVM 20 L fives. It'll show you all this information. But uh, so it's obvious that these listings are still cut and paste. It says it's a perfect condition monitor. It doesn't actually say you're getting what's in the picture. So I will say that at least it's not saying that technically. It also says this guy lives next to save on Pat and that he will take the monitor to Pat and let him work on it for you and then ship it to you for, uh, you have to pay Pat separately. But so there you go. You got Big House Productions, P-R-O-D. So uh, I kept looking into this because, again, this guy's selling these. He sold a lot of these other monitors also that were on this list. Uh, that one, he was sold the 14L5s. There were a couple of those last month. He sold that one. And not that one, not that one. He sold the D-Series, and I think that's about it. The rest of them were other ones. Uh, but there were a couple of 20, mostly 2005s and 14.05s. So, uh, again, totaling to 15,600. Now, I talked in the past about a lot of issues people were having with this guy uh, who was selling before under the profiles of, um, I can't even remember, first video, but uh, I did a couple of videos in the past about this uh, account, and, and there was some bad things, some complaints. So, Anyway, it's been about a year since that last video, and I went on here and started looking at some more recent feedback because I figured maybe at this point, uh, maybe he was doing something right and changed a lot of his things. They didn't change his listings, really. He just went, he used to use a, everybody used to laugh because he used to use a uh, Sonic the Hedgehog picture on every monitor listing. Well, it just looks like it's just changed over to a, um, Mario Party 7 for most of them. But again, here's a good rating plus lots of stuff said there, 190 feedback. So uh, here's another one, great seller um, for a 20L5, 14L5, great seller. So he has gotten some good feedback for it. So maybe again, he's doing things right. I, I wanted to say, I'm sure that anybody who bought some of these monitors will most likely see this video probably. I mean, there's a good chance of it. So if you have anything you want to talk about and the experience that you had with it, uh, please let me know. Because again, if, if, if the experiences are actually matching this and everything's good, then that's really good. That just means just remember this guy sold them as $15,000 worth of uh, PVMs in one month. Or uh, that's, a, that's a darn high number. So I just wanted to get some, you know, honest feedback. You could get, leave something in the comments, let us know exactly. Because if it's still working, you know, good and people are willing to pay it, uh, maybe, you know, we can, more people can buy safely from this seller and uh, be, you know, expect a, a reasonable, um, you know, experience. But I, I again, it bothers me that these are all copy and paste, um, you know, generic monitor listings for something that's the most expensive monitor and monitors in the CRT, you know, realm for the most part or CRT world. So these are again, the most expensive. And it, to me, I, I don't think it's fair to put on pictures of just uh, the same, you know, the same exact pictures on every listing for it, unless you're just selling one and it doesn't really sell and you relist it. But again, this was the same listing. It's been used for months and months for sales. So anyway, um, 
so just to sum things up, there were a lot of sales this month, but I, I was really wanting to pay more attention to the biggest selling uh, eBay account right now. And just keep, we'll keep an eye on this. Again, if you have any specific feedback that you'd like to leave, if it was great, then please let me know. I think that would be awesome if to find out that um, this many people got good monitors and had a good experience. And, uh, and, but anything else, uh, please leave a comment or a question below. I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.